Hey guys, Zen here, and Operation Phantom Sight has been fully released, and so in this video, I wanted to help some of you guys out who are looking to get the most out of this new content. I bring you guys some of the best tips I've learned in my time, as well as some general thoughts. So, I'm ready guys, let's get into it. First up, I want to talk about the two new operators, Warden and Nook, because just in case you've been under a rock, they're available to everyone now. So, I've been spending a lot of time with these two, and I've learned a lot about them, but one thing I think is really important to bring out to you guys is that they're very high skill gap operators, which means means the success you have with them is really based off of your own knowledge and skill. But if you are struggling, I do have a few tips to share that should help some of you. Starting off with Nook, my new attacking main, and she can be tough to get a full grasp of. Now yes, at her core, Nook is an attacking roamer, and one very similar to Cav, but unlike Cav, who does most of her work off-site, you should make it your goal to get on-site, unheard and unseen, and actually have your way with the anchors. Now, I think I have a perfect example of this here for you guys, just to better illustrate what I'm talking about. Roll it. See you around. Come on, I'm on. Hell online. Bathroom down. Down to one friendly. Now, I didn't want to do anything super fancy or editing magic, and it's for the vibes, really, but in all seriousness, if you can creep your way on site and surprise whoever is there defending it, that's where I feel you'll have the most success and also find the most challenge if you're looking to better yourself as a Nook player. Another tip is to remove the silencer from the Deagle and replace it with the muzzle brake. Honestly, guys, if you can deal with the sights, you can kind of use this as a primary. Not only does it hit like a mule in medium range, I'll say, I mean, I don't want to overblow it here but with the muzzle brake it just doesn't kick and it's a little strange because before these attachments the deagle had some of the worst recoil for a secondary and now it's just reliable and works well for it again the muzzle brake is incredible but if you want a completely dead silent loadout i recommend swapping to the usg and throwing a silencer on that and using the silent 612 shotgun on this operator on lesion it just isn't meta but with nook given how close you can get with this operator unheard it works Works, and it might surprise you how well. If you really think about it, with Cav, for instance, no one will question if she mains the shotgun in her loadout, and it's because of her playstyle. Cav's SMG definitely isn't anything to write home about in the meta, and neither is Nook's, so if you really can't work with the FMG9, try the 612 and get as close as you can before you pull the trigger. Now, I could talk about Nook all day, and yes, you heard me right, I'm maining her in Phantom Sight on attack, so maybe one day I will talk about her all day, but for now, we'll move on to Warden an operator I've come to love, really. Warden is probably the operator who requires the most finesse in the game right now, and it's because of his gameplay loop. I think a lot of the community feel he's weak because they simply aren't getting flashed or seeing a lot of smoke when they play this operator. It doesn't mean it isn't happening, they're just not having it happen to them when they choose Warden, so he seems useless. But my thing with him is that if you position yourself in places where you can expect flash grenades and smokes to go off, you will undoubtedly find use for Warden. On Top Floor Oregon, for example, in the bedroom, or consulate in the garage. Smokes, flashes, and candelas are very popular gadgets that get thrown on these sites, and Warden counters that. If you compare him to Mira, where on site she's useful, she's almost always picked and always challenging to deal with, but on site she's not very useful, she just isn't picked, or if she is, she can even put your team at a disadvantage. What I'm really getting at is that I feel like a lot of people want Warden to be another Legion, an operator who's great in every situation and on every site, but really, he's more like Mira where again, on sites where smoke is almost guaranteed or Ying is a popular pick for instance, Warden is the guy for the job. Now, there's no denying that Warden has his flaws and can be very situational, but one tip that I have for him is to leave the objective and try going on a roam. He doesn't do anything for the team in that his gadget is made just for his use, so you may find that the attackers can't flash you out of a hiding spot and you can play really aggressive with him. Like I said, Warden is a very high skill gap operator and so ultimately, your knowledge 
knowledge of Siege is what will make Warden more valuable to you. The most obvious tip is to remember that when Glass isn't there, you are the only one who can see through smoke. So don't be afraid to peek and even leave yourself more exposed to see through it and secure a kill. But those are my early season tips and general thoughts of the two new operators. There's a theme of vision and what that means on both attack and defense happening this season, which is something that was mentioned by the lead game designer in a recent interview. So what do you guys think of Nook and Warden? And be sure to leave your early impressions down below. We'd all love to know. Next, we can quickly talk about the cafe rework. And I want you guys honest opinion on this, but I think the kitchen objective is now the best site on the map. In the past, I think the clear winner was the third floor for Bomb, but I really like what's been done to the kitchen area. And I think it gives defense a much more secure area to work with. You've got to realize that now almost the entire third floor is exposed. And with now two hatches up there, plus the skylight, at least for myself, I struggle to feel really comfortable up there. Reading room is also a viable site, but personally, I still prefer train. And now that there's only one window in the dining area, it's really easy to sit back there and anchor down. This map is now very reliant on Intel. So I think ops like Valk and Maestro are must picks on really any site here. And on attack, I recommend ops like Gridlock and Nomad because this rework is very roamer heavy and you'll need them to watch your back. All in all, I love it. And I think we can trust in Ubisoft's ability to take a map the community isn't feeling or just doesn't work in the current meta, rework it and do it right. Canal is next and with two successful reworks with Hereford and Cafe, I'm ready for it guys. Finally, and I wanted to make sure to mention this for you guys, but the Legion Elite has been officially released and is now available. This kind of flew under the radar and to my knowledge, the name was changed from the Prototype Elite to the Nanotox 32 Elite set. But yes, it's here and I think you Legion mains are going to really enjoy this one as long as your operator isn't banned every game and you actually get the chance to. As an added bonus, there's a challenge in the Ubisoft Club to win four rounds as Legion. So if you do pick up this Elite, make sure that you double dip and complete this challenge. Overall, this season has been a little rocky and we still don't have access to Clash and the deployable shield. But as far as the new and updated content that is there, I'm having fun with it. And I think the community in general is as well. I really would have liked to see new weapons this season, like we've talked about in the past, but I've got to be honest and say that because of these two operators not having any new weapons and bringing these specific ones, I've given these weapons a second chance because I was never a big fan of the MPX or the FMG9 for that matter. Cafe has been flawless and it's gone from my least favorite map to one of my favorites with the tweaks they've made. And all of that leads us into the star of the update, which is really the new ranked experience and guide. Everything that's been done to ranked, I've had a really positive experience with. And what's more important is that now, because it's bomb only, I've noticed queue times have been really fast as of recently, which has honestly been amazing to say the least. Now, Phantom Sight is a season really unlike any other, and that's what makes it unique in my opinion, kind of like what we do here on the channel. I think Nock is currently the fan favorite, and in the right hand, she's extremely lethal, but hopefully in due time, Warden will see his full potential and people will pick him more often. It might take a stage as big as Pro League for people to really see what he's worth, and unfortunately, he won't be available there for a while. So until then, I think Warden will be a niche operator in the meta. But that's everything, guys. Phantom Sight is all the way in, and those are my early thoughts. Now, I want to hear from you. Now that they're available, have you unlocked the two new operators of the season? And what have you placed this season in ranked if you've competed? Let us know down below. If you do enjoy this content, please drop a like and subscribe with notifications if you're new. With that being said, it's been Zen. Hey, I'm out.